So here's a morning exercise that you can do to get your brain to connect to itself. Your brain has two halves called hemispheres. When they talk to each other, we have a hemispherical sync. And it's really important for focus, for motivation and clarity and getting going with your days. So let's go straight into it. What we're gonna do is gonna use your index finger and your thumb, you're gonna place them, you're gonna follow your pupils up, you're gonna place them just above your eyebrows in this little cavity here. And the next one you're gonna place, if you have hair, if you have a hairline, just below the hairline, like this. And we're gonna hold very lightly here. So I'm doing this basically. And just take a few breaths from here. And you might start to feel a pulsation on your fingers. That is a good sign. If you don't feel it, that's also a good sign. And try to take about three to five or more cleansing deep breaths here, relaxing your shoulders, elbows pointing down. And then we're just gonna shake out our hands a little bit. Just move your head. It's not uncommon to feel a little bit sluggish initially because the body relaxes a lot. The brain relaxes really when we do this. So it goes into like a hibernation state and then it comes back up and it's fresh with energy. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do the opposite. We were doing this now. So we're gonna start with the other one. We're gonna start with the left hand and then place the other one on top. Following your hairline, if you have one, just below, above your eyebrows, elbows pointing down, light touch. Take three to five or more cleansing breaths. And if you want, you can visualize two halves of your brain. It's like a walnut that has two halves and they're talking to each other. Sending information to the right and the left side. Your right side controls the left side of your body and it's intuitive, it's creative, it's the artist in you. Whereas the left side controls the right side of the body and it's the logic one, analytical one, what we usually call the intellectual mind. We need both to function And then relax, just shake out a little bit. And next, we're going to cross our arms and we're gonna be working over your ears. So about two finger width above you, the tip of your ear on right and left side. So I'm gonna place one hand here and one hand here. You're gonna hold here gently. You can place a pillow or something if you wanna rest your elbows in. You can also lean down a little bit. I'm just gonna take three to five cleansing breaths. And after about a few breaths, can you just change so the other hand is on top? Do the same thing. Three to five cleansing breaths.
and we're going to place the hand on their side. So right hand on the right side, left hand on the left side. Take a few breaths. And then let go, shake out your shoulders. It's not uncommon that they get a little bit tired if we're not used to holding our hands like this. That is okay. We can always use a pillow to support or a desk or bed or anything that will serve as a support for you. So the last one we're going to do is going to be on top of your head. So if you find these points that we just worked on, drive them up until where they meet in the middle. And you place one hand there on top. Elbow can come in if you want. Try to relax the shoulder as much as you can. It can be out, it can be in. Can switch hand after a few breaths. And shake out. And then you can just bring your arms across a few times like this. So when you're moving your right hand to your left side, you're making the hemispheres talk to each other, right? Because right side controls left side, left side controls right side. So when we start to do this kind of movements and as we breathe, really get them to talk to each other. And why that's important to do in the morning is because it wakes you up and it primes you ready, not just to be too linear and too logic and structured, but also gets that flow, that rhythm, and that intuition going into your body. So you're literally priming your brain to be the best, the artist and the engineer at the same time. And this is a really good way to start your days because you'll be more focused. You will lose less energy. You will get less distracted into other activities that are not in alignment with your purpose, your goals, and in the direction where you wish to go. And it will also allow you to finish your days having more energy over for your family, hobbies, creativities or anything that you want to do at the end of your work day so it gives you focus it gives you an uh, ability or a good start to manage your energies in a way so that you can feel good and lose less energy throughout your days and get more done without having to push more without having to have more effort and if you want to learn more about these different tools and how we can work with these tools to feel better, to prime your mental, emotional states of well-being, uh, you can go to livingwiththespirit.com. And we also have a grounding program where I go through all of these different aspects of how to work with the brain, with the nervous system, with your breathing, so that you can start your days or finish your days or manage stress that might come up throughout your days in a way that it's harmonious, balanced, and that allows you to feel like you're growing and you're learning from everything. Life is not happening to you, it's happening for you. You can also reach out to me and we can set up a free consultation if you want to do that and get to know how we might be able to get you further on your journey. So I hope you had a great follow along and that you have an amazing day with lots of focus and lots of grounding. Have a blessed day.